is to drive home the program's most important message, the theme, to arouse unity and enthusiasm in the audience. My humble request to Dr. Sangeeta Dugal, ma'am, to kindly come up and enlighten all of us. A very good morning to all. Dignitaries sitting on the dais, off the dais, members of NCH, principals and teachers of different colleges of different states, a very good morning. It's a great pleasure to be here in Swamiji's institute to witness the last zonal training for the competency-based dynamic curriculum organized by Homeopathic Education Board of NCH. For any system to flourish, we know three things are very important. First is infrastructure. Second is manpower. And third is skill development. So under skill development, this new course, CBDC, which we call, is, has come up. Now, we all know whenever there's a change, there's a resistance. But if we accept this wholeheartedly, then we know the path is not tough, but achievable. And with the kind of dedication and organized behavior of Homeopathic Education Board in designing the CBDC for the first BHMS professionals starting in this academic year, it is clearly visible that goal can be achieved very soon. And I feel privileged to be a part of this training of teachers and congratulate the fraternity of homeopaths for this proactive initiative. Now we all know curriculum forms the basis of all educational disciplines. Its persistent revision and updation in tune with time keeps the discipline at pace with other systems. Now with the implementation of CBDC, homeopathic education will achieve a continuous updation and fulfill the national goal through its product. And the product is a competent homeopath. Now I congratulate the National Commission for Homeopathy for its consistent effort and extend the full support of Ministry of Ayush for all its efforts. <laughs> At this point of time, I would like to mention a few suggestions. The process of implementation of CBDC should be regularly and closely monitored for corrections and improvements. The reviews on the teething troubles, if any, should be collected from all those who are the part of this process. And you all are the part of this process. So ratification of all queries and clarifications on the approaches should be immediate. This, I think Dr. Takeshwar Jain has also emphasized. And please, any problem you face, you must convey it. There should be interactions among the teachers and students on this new curriculum for better implementation of CBDC. So I'm not going to take a very long time. <laughs> As it is, it's quite long. So now wishing you all the success and best wishes for the advanced curriculum. Thank you.